Web 3.0. Some called it the next internet revolution. Others, just another tech buzzword that fizzled out. So, is Web 3 dead? Let's rewind. Web 1 was the early internet. Think static, read only pages. It was simple and you couldn't do much but read. Then came Web 2. Social media, interactive sites and user-generated everything. But here's the catch. Big tech owned the platforms and your data, not really yours. Enter Web 3. The promise, a web owned by users, not corporations. Powered by blockchain with cryptocurrencies for payments, NFTs for digital ownership, smart contracts for automation, and DEOs for community control. The vision was bold true digital freedom, real data ownership, and a chance for everyone to have a say. But reality? Well, things got messy. The crypto boom of 2021 to 2022 brought hype, speculation, and a flood of projects. Some groundbreaking, most chasing quick cash. People started asking, is this really decentralized or just the same players in new costumes? Usability was a nightmare. Scalability struggled, and mainstream users? They didn't show up in droves. Fast forward to 2025. The hype has cooled, regulators are circling, and only projects with real utility are left standing. Sure, DeFi, NFTs, and DOs still exist, but nowhere near the scale that was promised. The dream of a fully decentralized internet? Still out of reach. So, is Web3 dead? Not quite. The buzz may be gone, but the core ideas, decentralization, user control, transparency, still shape how we build the internet. Maybe Web3 didn't live up to the hype, but its influence? That's not going away anytime soon. I'm curious, do you think we'll ever get the truly user-owned web? Or is Web3 just another chapter in the internet's wild story? Let me know in the comments.